Hello, welcome to History Minute ASMR. Today I'd like the opportunity to talk about what was once a mainstay of Native American society and culture, the same way that coffee is actually a mainstay of our society and culture. Um, there was a tribe that lived in northern Florida called the Timicua tribe. They had a drink called Casina. Spanish explorers such as Hernando de Soto called it the black drink. It was actually made of the Yalpin holly, and I'll flash up a picture of that on the video. As it turns out, this is the only caffeinated plant that's native to North America. Uh, even today, it grows wildly all over the southeast. It's characterized by having red berries. Red berries are not edible, but the tea is actually made from the leaves of, of the plant, not the berries. It was once used as an energizing beverage, and it was consumed daily. Uh, it had a role in purification rituals. So when Europeans began colonizing America, the tea started to gain popularity among the colonists. Um, the British East India Company actually saw it as a threat, and in 1789, an English botanist began a smear campaign against the tea, um, and he did so by giving it a scientific name when they classified the plant. They called it Ilex vomitoria, and that was so named because it was, it was believed that vomiting was a side effect of consuming the tea, even though that wasn't really the case. And they actually, when they use it in the purification rituals, they would vomit, but it was actually other ingredients that caused the vomiting, not the tea. But the smear campaign nevertheless was effective and then the use of the tea did decline um, with the exception of Native Americans who continued using it in their rituals. So in part two of my video, I'm going to talk about the tea and modern uses of it. And I'll even give you a chance to see me drink some of it. And so please like and subscribe for more content that's history related and that hopefully will help you sleep as well.